you want a sensei? You know, I had a, I had my own relationship with him, and it uh, was very close over the years. <coughs> and um, you know, it was devastating to hear that he was gone. I started Aikido at 21 years old, and uh, he was my teacher most all this time. And he was, you know, always in my life. And all of a sudden, he's not there anymore, you know? Um, and that's shocking, you know, in a way. It's, it's like uh, I just depended on him always being there. And uh, everything I did in the Aikido world and in other things, it was a lot of it was like, what would Sensei think about this, or how would he do that, you know? And uh, because I really respected the insight that he always had in situations. I miss him, but I have to carry on and do what I'm doing, and uh, carry on things that he used to count on me to do. And I still am part of this Aikido world that we have, and I'm gonna do everything that I can to be the best Peter Bernath I can be for myself and in our group and everything that we're doing. I'm going to try to help the other people in the same way that he did. And I'm going to miss him. Yamada Sensei had to deal with O Sensei dying. Yeah? Was that going to be the end of Aikido? You know? Uh, no. He went out and started teaching all around the world and got tens of thousands of people to join Aikido. And we used to have, you know, Tohei Sensei and Sugano Sensei, and Chiba Sensei, Tomoda Sensei, you know, uh, so many people who passed away before him, and he was like the last of that group. So that hits us even stronger, because, you know, when Sugano Sensei passed, Yamada Sensei was there. When Kanai Sensei passed, Yamada Sensei was there. And he would help their students. This time, we gotta help ourselves. And we have to step up and grow up, and but take the same kind of attitude in the same way that he helped all of those other students when their teachers passed. We have to try to do the same. But it isn't just a technical committee or board or something like that. It's all of us, you know. We all do that with each other and be encouraging and be happy to see our friends and and all that. I kept a bunch of his voicemails on my phone. Just him saying, you know, you know, Peter, you know, uh, give me a call, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just to hear his voice. And that's kind of nice. It's comforting. <laughs>